to Mali, where residents in the West African country, of course, are also have been also grappling with an advanced effect of the prevailing hot weather condition, as temperatures risen to almost 50 degrees Celsius. Among those that are mostly affected are school-going children, who, is, who, of course, in some areas struggle to concentrate during lectures, and schools are forced to close earlier than usual amid the unfavorable weather situation. The lack of adequate electricity supply is also said to be worsening the citizens' state of living. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. At Hamdalai School in Mali's capital of Bamako, tuition is underway. The packed and not so well ventilated classrooms ensure students find it difficult to maintain focus. They often also have to fund themselves to stay cool as temperatures soar close to 50 degrees Celsius. The heat wave is having a very negative impact on people's learning time. We have been asked to hold classes from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., when in principle, classes should be held from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are obliged to do this because conditions are very difficult in these hot weather conditions. We have just finished the second term and the people's results have dropped considerably. Those who had an average between 12 and 14 in the first term have obtained 10 or 11 for the second term. The classrooms are overcrowded and the heat makes it very difficult to concentrate. We are hot all the time, especially as the fans don't work regularly because of the power cuts. Regular power cuts across the country are making the situation even worse as the country's state power company failed last year. Among the most affected is the informal sector, where traders can hardly afford generators. It is very hot at the moment. It feels like it must be around 50 degrees today. We are under a hangar and the heat is very intense because of the sheet metal. You don't even know where to put your head. It is as if there are no trees left in Mali. We need to find a solution to this heat wave because it is getting harder and harder for us to work in these conditions. However, for some traders, this is a season to cash in. Selling ice is very beneficial for me. A lot of people and the local bakers come here to buy it. However, when there are power cuts, as is the case now, it becomes challenging for us to work. Otherwise, when the ice is available, we experience a surge in customer demand. Before the heat wave, we used to sell ice for 50 CFA franc, but now the price has doubled. Locals are now urging the government to put systems in place so as to better protect them from deadly heat waves. 